Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Warhammer 40k uh, uh, Rogue Trader. I remember the game we're playing. Uh, we're here with Wilburn Crew, Von Valentius, first of his name, biggest of dongs. You know, that title that he has this servo soul screaming at the top of its lungs everywhere I go. Uh, last time we finally finished up pretty much all we wanted to do here in the atrium. And we're going to be moving forward to the actual Liege's Palace. So let's jump right in. See what kind of trouble we can get into here. I won't tolerate weakness. And already we're in trouble. <laughs> Who's this? Who's this? Hold on. Who is this? Lady. I couldn't tell if it was a lady. It looks like a lady. She got booba. Lady got booba. Anyway. This evil looking motherfucker. God damn, dude. <laughs> he looks like... <laughs> he looks like a despicable me villain or some shit, dude. <laughs> like, like, he looks like he should be in some animated cartoon. Uh, my patience, you remember the way out. Uh, dismissed. The tall man in... Austri gray clothes. I don't know that word. Uh, makes a show of looking past the woman he's addressing. Uh, Vlad Dame. Vlad Dame. Vlad Dame. Vlad Dame. <laughs> what Ozzy put such harsh words into your mouth? Uh, you talk like an imperial clerk, not one of us. The woman who is standing with her back to you, lets out an ostentatious, ostentatious sigh. Then her tone changes dramatically, dramatically. Jesus, I gotta get my tongue together. Where's my cargo, Vladam? Falco uh, has it, doesn't he? So that's, so that's how you do business with old friends these days. Jay is her name. Very cool. These people have portraits, so I'm assuming they're important. She has a sword, so maybe she's a party member. Who knows? <laughs> I have no idea who's party members and who's not in this game. I've been so blind and clean on pretty much everything. Uh, I'm really proud of myself on that because I usually spoil the shit out of games that I'm playing just because I really don't care about spoilers, but I have become more and more like uh just for the youtube channel like if i'm not if i'm not gonna play a game for the youtube channel i'll spoil the whole damn thing i don't care but if i'm doing it for the youtube i'll, I'll keep it clean which uh probably nobody cares about but <laughs> uh so you don't remember <laughs> then the help will remind you guards escort her out goodbye lady uh hey dry move Massive guard leans down to the woman and says in a lowered voice, Jay, get going while he's letting you. Go drown your sorrows at the Amasekus and thank your lucky stars you'll be able to walk out that door. You won't get a ch the chance next time. Okay, bye bye Find the disgraced stranger in the shadow quarters. Interesting. First an insult, now threats. I see courtesy and tact are no longer a valued commodity commodity on footfall. Oh well. I'll find myself a better deal. She turns on her heels and heads towards the exit. As she passes you by, she gives you a quick once over, winks at you, then immediately turns away with a flip of her jet black hair. Oh, she's flirting with me, guys. Did you get that? She's flirting with me. Look at her saunter away. She wants me to look at her butt. Uh, the tall man, who has since noticed your presence, is studying her you intently. Uh, Vladam Takara, liege of footfall. Let us please proceed to my office. A spread, a spread benefiting a visitor of your rank is waiting. Your entourage will be accommodated nearby. Uh, sure. Please follow me. Cool. And here we are followed. Look at all that goodness. Oh, goodness gracious. So many wines. 
And they're all floating above the table by about three inches. Very cool. <laughs> Except for my stuff. My stuff is solidly on the on the table. But everything from this point on is like <laughs> it's like floating. Uh, while you engage in small talk, you get a chance to take the me the measure of the liege Takara. Uh, his expression is aloof and focused. His gestures curt and firm, and his speech is calm and quiet as though he is used to people always listening to what he has to say. Uh, judging by his observant gaze, he has been studying you in <coughs> you in turn this whole time. Okay, visit the siege. The liege. <laughs> the siege. Uh, 77 experience gained. Uh, Vladam straightens, straightens in his chair and says a polite and completely indifferent tone says in a polite and completely indifferent tone. Let's talk business. On behalf of the elite of Footfall Station, I offer you condolences, Lord Von Valencius. We mourn Lady Theodora's loss, and we hope the sentiment is taken as a sign of our good intentions and willingness to cooperate. Reply in high gothic. Uh, sure. I accept your condolences. Noble blood runs in your veins. Oh, that's right. I am a noble. Okay. Oh, he gives you a look and then says calmly, I'm not versed in the language of the uh, aristocracy. Uh, but I do hope that you didn't say anything unsavory. Either way, we've established a certain distance between us, and I will make note of it. Oh, shit. I don't even know fucking do that. Mm, my bad. I thought this dude was noble, but... I mean, he fucking sure doesn't look like... He looks like a fucking... A villain. Uh, it was a bold move on your part to announce yourself as the new rogue trader of the Von Valencius dynasty, despite not having the, your status confirmed by anyone of import from the Imperium. I appreciate such traits in people. It's good to understand who you're dealing with. Hey, that's me, baby. Your outstanding intellect is known beyond bounds of your home system. I wonder why, but, though. Oh, God, it did this again. Fuck, and I can't cancel it. This is the same fucking thing I just did last episode. Um, I've heard much about your rare acumen. Or, I should say, about the profoundly impressive results you managed to f achieve by using it. I have always had a fondness for individuals who can destroy their enemy and gain a powerful ally with just a few well-phrased sentences and precisely issued orders. Well, that's like my thing. My persuasion's like crazy high, bro. Uh, the corners of Vladam's mouth twitch, bringing his expression dangerously close to a genuine smile. Yeah, he is frowning like fuck right now, dude. <laughs> uh... As you may have noticed, Footfall is currently in the cri state of crisis. Its people would benefit from the uh, patronage of a figure such as yourself. I thought you had other rogue traders here. Am I wrong? I thought for sure that there were other people who were patronizing you. Uh, who is that woman the ones threw out? I was attacked right at the docks. What's the situation in the region? What sort of patronage do you seek from me? Uh, what's the situation in the region? Troubling Xeno's raids are growing more frequent. Trade is suffering and fringe worlds are going under. Rumors of, uh... Atro atro atrocities? Goddamn. Rumors of atrocities being committed by enemies of humanity are cr causing excessive pain due to their exotic nature. The core of the Imperium forces in the Chronix Expanse has departed from the sector's borders to combat the Xenos threat. There has been no word from them for a while now. Then again, with the distance and the current issues with the Astropaths, that is not entirely out of the ordinary. Okay. <clears throat> See, we are not yet alone. From several of the worlds hit by the Xenos attack, we receive reports of 
fierce warriors who descended from the sky and entered the fray. <clears throat> the fragmentary accounts led me to believe that the blessed Adeptus Astartes are operating in the Coronas Expanse, and I await news of their victories and great anticipation. That's the Space Marines, right? Yeah. How many know the Space Marines, these genetically engineered super soldiers, are mo most powerful and ferocious warriors of the Imperium? I gotta take a drink. Um. Mm. Uh, who was that woman in the Wardens throughout... Have there been any Xenos attacks on Footfall? Travelers arriving to Footfall bring the rumors of the Emperor's blessed angels repelling the Xeno threat. Okay, yeah. No, there, there haven't. Attacking Footfall in general is not a particularly reasonable thing to do. Many ships are docked here at any given, to any given time, and even the listed weapons on board them <laughs> would make for a decent fighting force. And that's not even to mention the firepower of the esteemed merchants have shamefully hidden from the station's customs officers. Ooh. Uh, for us here, Xenos are more like a source of income than a threat. Oh, he freezes, gauging your reaction. Ooh. Uh, I do not approve the fear of Xenotech. One must know and understand the enemy. That's a pretty fucking good thing to say, honestly. Kind of class plus five. I'm convinced that your connections with Footfall will allow us you to broaden your knowledge and understanding of Xenos considerably. I will see it to it that your curiosity is satisfied in every way. Ooh, every way, baby. Mm, yeah. Um, I was attacked right on the docks. An outrageous stunt, a show of disrespect for both you and me. Sadly, such incidents on footfall are akin to natural disasters. Impossible to predict and preempt or preempt. Uh, they simply happen. Many consider footfall to be a pirate den, but believe me when I say there are is a difference between organized crime and gangs of thugs who have nothing to lose. You were attacked by the latter. The Anvers are a gang of punks who spit on the customs and heresy, on our customs and hierarchy. I'm an idiot. Uh, <laughs> even their leader is more akin to, uh, to an idolage, a rabble rouser who calls for people's heads, not a command, not a commander. Sooner or later, he will find himself we will find him and have him strung up that will likely cool his followers enthusiasm very cool awareness attacks succeeded uh, behind the carefully built facade of composure you seem sense anger it appears that this man is not used to losing control but that is exactly what is happening granted him <laughs> okay let's read these um uh, I would like to know more about the Avers gang. Why haven't you they been dealt with? I'm sorry for your loss of your assistant. The negligence uh, with which you do your business is insult individual of my stature. I can tell they've been a real pain for you. I bet you'd love to gut those jokers, wouldn't you? Come on, admit it. You wouldn't. You would, wouldn't you? <laughs> Just egg them on. Uh, no, I'm going to say I'm sorry for your loss of your assistant. What? <laughs> Your words seem to perplex him for a moment. But his face remains cold. Oh, that, yes. Her death was a regrettable development. Who was that woman you threw out? Uh, his expression hardens, and he makes a frustrated gesture. A dead woman walking. Some, however, still call her Jan... Hadar, Hatery, a small time hustler with big ambitions that will lead her to a sticky end. Imperium lore test succeeded. It's strange, a small time hustler, even a particularly audacious one, 
wouldn't likely quarrel in public with a figure as important as the Legion Footfall. What seems stranger still is that the Liege knows this small fry by name. Interesting. She is irrelevant. Since I'm the one in control of the station, or of the situation on Footfall, I can speak on behalf of all of its noteworthy rev residents. Uh, what sort of patronage do you seek from me? Protection. Not military protection, but a different kind of security. You have, of course, already encountered difficulties with warp navigation on your way here. I'm afraid the scope of these difficulties extend far beyond this area. Reports of uh, disrupted routes and ships vanishing during short jumps are coming in across the entire sector. Communication with the Calaxis sector uh, has been extremely unstable. Of the ships that have d dived into the mall in recent years, none have returned, have yet returned. The last ship that came through the mall from the other side was stuck by a temporal anomaly. The jump took almost two decades in real space time. Jesus. Warp test succeeded. Now, are these like... Yes, okay, I was about to say, are these pulling from my party members? Because that would help immensely, even though my party members aren't here. I'm glad that it, it does that. Uh, you've heard of, per of periods of warp instability, including cases where the mall would become completely inaccessible for navigation for years on end, thus temporarily cutting off the Coronix Expanse from the Imperium. Even so, Vladim's words are particularly alarming. It seems that something has a profound effect on the mall. What is this something? Calactrix Maldictum? A huge warp storm stretching across the galaxy resulted in cataclys catastrophic rift in real space. Interesting. Logic succeeded. By Pascal, of course. <laughs> Who else? Um, and this brings us to the main issue. Footfall is a repair shipyard and a trading post. We barely p produce anything ourselves and are largely dependent on the incoming ship. Shipments. <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that. Uh, especially food shipments. The station naturally has some reserves, but the supply issues didn't start yesterday. Footfall would have been ob have would it be obliged if House von Valencius would assist us by signing a contract for food deliveries? I can't be the only one you've asked for help. Thousands of refugees from Winterscale's realm uh, arrive in Footfall. Oh, okay. Naturally, I tried contacting the other rogue traders, but in terms of House Chorda, uh, would have bled Footfall dry. Oh, the terms with House Chorda would have bled Footfall dry. And as for the esteemed Caglios Winterscale, Uh, instead of a <laughs> food shipment for him, I received a transport, the Navis Navisia, packed with refugees. I had to send them off to Foulstone. So many extra months to feed, so many extra mouths to feed would have only worsened this crisis further. I suppose all the warp fluctuations must have created more pressing concerns with the Lord, for Lord Winterscale. And so I put my faith in you, the third and last of Footfall's allies. Okay, so Footfall is cut off from all the uh, of its shipments. The local gangs are running wild, and the local hustlers are throwing tantrums in your residence. Are you positive you're in control of this situation? Uh, if you are so fond of my acumen, uh, then do not insult it by putting on a brave face now. We both know that... You have far greater need for me than I have for you. So what are the terms of the deal? I think we're going to go business hard here. I feel like he needs us more than he need, than we need him. I don't think insulting him is the right way to go. I think holding leverage would be the best option. Listens with a stony expression. 
You are very perceptive. Well, now you know what you're buying. <laughs> the situation is different. But should you decide to offer your support, we'll forget about the extens existence of trading hubs other than footfall. Oh, you'll forget about the existence of trading hubs other than footfall because you won't have more loyal friends anywhere else. What are the terms of the deal? Ooh. It's simple. Delivery of food shipments for your from your fertile worlds, Janice, I imagine. <laughs> oh, Janice, I imagine. I'm quite familiar with the jewel of the Von Valencia's protectorate. Uh, in exchange for fair payment. I will help Footfall, but not out of the desire for profit. I have no interest in attaining any favors of any kind or becoming your patron. I only only in saving people's lives. A, hey. all right, that's a little far. <laughs> I'll be real. Uh, get on your knees and ask properly, then I will help. Jesus Christ, that's the complete other direction, bro. The payment will be unfair as I will be robbing you blind. You will remain in charge. Do we have a deal? Very well, I'll help you with your food shipments. I won't help you. Deals are not your problems. Salute. Blech. Deal with your problems yourself. Jesus. Fuck, dude. I'm torn. I want the profit, but... I want the Iconoclast, too. Fuck it, let's just make friends. Has come with a request about the station's survival. Yeah, okay. Uh, his gaze is slightly distrustful. Such charity is a rare sight in the Corona's Expanse. Even figures as powerful as the rogue traders do not show it often. Thank you, your lordship. What's happening in the Shadow Quarters? Why are they quarantined? Oh, that? He grimaces? Who knows? It could be an actual epidemic, or perhaps two families that started it all just came down with food poisoning at the same time. We're on a space station. The best solution here is to isolate the area and wait for the problem to resolve itself. Mmm. I wish to help the people in the quarantine zone. I will have medicine delivered to them from my ship. Excellent. More iconical. I'm just boosting my iconoclast like so fucking much with this whole interaction, dude. Uh, I can't bar you from doing this, but I can't help you help but note that it's not the wisest course of action. With all due respect, your lordship. Don't care, didn't ask. Uh, I would like to know more about the gang. Why haven't they been dealt with yet? On Lord Captain's orders, help has been sent to the residents to seal off the area. Oh, okay. That was for the last one. <laughs> he grits his teeth slightly before answering i've been using all my resources to delay the moment when the station is hit by a famine i haven't gotten around to the arnver anvers yet and determinal uh as detrimental as they are they're no players when the leader dies the rest will scatter okay where does one go to make a few deals here on Footfall Station? Here, I am the main dealer on the station, and it would be disrespectful of me to suggest that you take your business out to Footfall Traders of lesser importance. Still, you might take an interest in a few people of note. For example, Reverend Ermarias uh, Del Russo. This servant of the Ecclesiarchy is rumored to purchase sacred relics from captains and other traders don't seem keen on becoming his competitors. Okay, good to know. So I can access all that from my ship, right, still? I'm assuming? Because that one guy just lets me trade with anyone in the region, or in the, in the system that I'm in. If you're looking for goods that can entertain you, find Octavia. Oh, Oc Octaviana? At the establishment called the Abdeptus Amescris. I don't, I don't, I don't even know where that is. I didn't see that on the map. <laughs> the chemical bliss that she offers is refined and par possesses a satisfactory degree of purity. Just don't ask 
her to pour you uh, her signature drink. It's meant for the common of footfall rabble, not discerning clientele. Uh, let's get down to business. Uh, yeah, let me look at your wares. I'm at your service. You can expect most generous discounts. Ooh, ooh, stub revolver, ten to fourteen. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Oh, and this is the mission. And then what do you want for? You want melee weaponry? Okay. Provisions. You probably, you probably super want provisions. <laughs> I have two things of melee weaponry. Weird. Oh, and I have another one here. Oh, can I only sell things that are at 100%? Like, he'll take all this stuff? Oh, no, no, no. Okay. But still, like, this is at 77. I wonder if it once it hits 100, I can... I can do something with it. Um. So what do I get from this? What is that? Jukari weapon. Hex fire rifle. That's fucking sick. Yo, what the hell? That does more than my sniper rifle. Yeah, damn. Okay, so if I go here and I select all of it, that's one... Uh, 1750. Yeah, that's not even enough to get me a level here. And then these are locked behind. Yeah, so I can only get this stuff. I don't know what this is. A plasma grenade. That's pretty good. Five plasma grenades. I'll take this, definitely. I'll take all the med kits I can take. What is this? Increases the user's resolve by two for each level of Iconoclast during... While decreasing all characteristics by ten until the end of combat. Eee, that's a little much, ain't it? Okay. Well, he's got some... Pr oh, fusion gun. It's a melter weapon. Damn. Holy shit! Calibrated heavy stubber. Jesus Christ. Storm Bolter, that's cool. Vortex Pendant. Heavy Xenomesh. Oh, there's a sniper rifle. 20 to 30. God damn, dude. Bane of Sorrow. Yo, that sounds so cool. It's a Laz gun. Uh, Eldari weapon. 22 to 32. Jesus Christ. And then the red crystal staff. Oh, that's for navigators, it seems. Cool. Well, that's interesting. I like his stuff there. Where the fuck is my camera? The hell? Okay, now we're in here. Can I? None shall stand Everybody in my way. Everybody get back in there. I'm not finished talking to this man. Greetings, your lordship. I don't mean to hurry you, but I ha do hope that our deal is still in place. The situation continues to experience increasingly severe shortages of the station. Uh, shortages of provisions. I have some questions about footfall. Rest assured, I will be candid. My lips are bound by the oath of service. What exactly interests you in footfall, this abode of merchants, xenotech traders, and only a few bandits? <laughs> Something tells me you used to be a bit of bandit yourself. Mm. Mm, should I go out right and say it? <laughs> hey, bro. You look pretty evil. <laughs> Who holds the reins of the Xeno, tree, Xeno goods trade? That would be him. A criminal syndicate that has seized control of the entirety of the cold trade in this sector. Xeno's creations are in high demand, and so every single colony has... A Castabellican 
agent or two. Opposing their commercial interests is a lot more dangerous than using their merchandise. That's who he works for, though. A pale ghost of a smile appears on his lips. Still, making friends with the organization is uh, as profitable as it is dangerous to make enemies of them. And it just so happens that I've managed to earn their trust, and on footfall, they conduct their business under my watchful eye. He sends you a meaningful look. Cool. Blasphemers of impure thoughts. Pascal Vo Vox erupts with furious hissing static. The cold trade is a shameful encroachment of the privileges of the Adeptus Mechanicus. He glares at Vladem, whose transparent eyes are clearly avoiding Pascal's. Interesting. What oath are you referring to? Oh! What the fuck is it? Okay, I gotta... <laughs> I gotta stop reading those before this. Uh, there is a certain custom on footfall. Any rogue trader who arrives on the station and docks is considered to be the absolute ruler and the liege their loyal servant. It makes me your servant. But I'm, uh, arrogance bearing contradicts his words. So I'm free to push you around however I like. I won't abuse my right. Uh, well, then, I suppose footfall has had... <laughs> We'll have to get used to its new master. Aim at his head. So I can just blow your brains out and then instate a new liege. What a fascinating custom. Useful, too. That's hilarious. I kind of want to, but I'm not going to. <laughs> I won't abuse my right. And I, in turn, will remember your gracious attitude. And I'll remember it when the esteemed... Caglios Winterscale returns to discover that Footfall is no longer under his patronage. Ooh. Nice. He will be displeased upon finding his, uh, demence, uh, encroached upon, and will try to take it back, and Caglios Winterscale's displeasure is very, very hazardous phenomenon. A fight between two rogue traitors will ensue, ensue and... As ridiculous as it may sound, it come, its outcome will most likely depend on the allegiance of the station's humble liege. Wow. Okay, well, we got him on our side. I'm not going to talk about his past. We're good. Thank you. Have a good day. Any loot? No. <laughs> no loot. I'll lay claim to the stars. Okay. Well, we talked to the man. We now have to figure out... Oh. Lord Captain, I'm pleased to report that the inspections have been completed and all identified system failures have been resolved. The void ship is ready to depart footfall. The crew is waiting for your further instructions. And there are also a number of issues that need to be addressed. Okay. Follow so money. we're not done here per se, but we are free to leave, I should say. That would be more apt. Oh, who are you? Bastion Chortle. Chorta. Oh, is he a rogue trader? Is he one of the rogue trader? A well-groomed young man calls out to you. He's clean-shaven and dressed in clothes that are expensive, but unshowy. With a bright... Aquila? Embroidered in the prominent spot. Your lordship! I humbly ask a minute of your time. I am Bestain. Uh... In drama, Melissa <laughs> Corda, fucking what? Youngest house of the youngest cousin of the house, Chorda. Uh, envy of whoever, rogue trader of the Coronas Expanse, and by the grace of his most holy emperor, Chorda. Hmm. Uh, they are some of the most influential rogue traders in the Coronas Expanse, but not on footfall. The station is under the control of House Winterscale. Not anymore. 
Uh, something tells me that we are about to hear the most curious offer, says Abelard under his breath so that only you can hear him. I don't have time to chat. What did you wish to speak with me about? Agri World. An imperial world dedicated entirely to production of agriculture products. Wow, okay. Uh, a matter of the utmost delicacy. You see, you've been, uh, been, you see, you've been to the residence of the liege. Vladem almost certainly appealed to you for assistance in his arrangement for shipments of, to footfall. The Von Valencia, ah, the Von Valencia's protectorate is famed for its abundance of its main agri-world, Janus. Uh, it would be odd for him not to seize on such a mo opportunity when Footfall is on the verge of famine. Yes, we did discuss that. However, the Chartered Dynasty pursues its own interests on Footfall. We have already announced our terms with the Liege, but he is stalling, I imagine, in hopes of getting a better offer from you. The Chartered Dynasty believes... Uh, Bastion smiles and gives you a slight shrug. That cooperation would be preferable uh, for both rogue trader houses. If you refuse Vladem, thereby forcing him to agree to a deal with us, the Shorted Dynasty can promise you a share of the profits from the future contract, as well as certain other prerequisites. Pre Everybody benefits. The Emperor's most loyal servants should be more concerned with carrying his will through the stars and less about divvying up profits among themselves, Argenta has slayed us disapprovingly, but quiet enough so not to interrupt the negotiations. Especially when you when the well-being of one of the Imperium's worlds is at stake, even one such as Footfall. I agree. Behind your smile, Master Bastion, te teal shadow swirls. Ooh. Others may not see them, but I worry. But your worry cannot escape my eye. Oh, so he's worried. What are you afraid of? Your house's wrath? Should these negotiations prove fruitless? Fruitless? Uh, or the wrath of House von Valencius? Oh shit, I could just take him? Adira, who has been yawning aboard a moment ago, flinches and clutches, clutches her face, her fingernails digging into her skin. They're coming again, brothers of the ones who came before. I don't, I just don't get it. Do they all have a death wish? Okay. I'm going to draw my weapon. What? Then turns around. Death to the off-worlders. Well, that didn't help. I won't heed your cries of mercy. That is unfortunate. I didn't expect him to just get fucking wrecked right off the bat. Holy shit, there's so many of these fucking people. Holy shit, there's so many of these fucking people. Okay, let's get people into position. Uh, I think... I want Cassia up front, but I also want her to just take out these four dudes, you know? Because I don't have anyone else that does a really good AoE like that. Uh, Adira does some good AoE. I think I will... I'll put her here. Hey, but did these guys go... Okay, those guys, those guys, and then Abelard. Okay, and these guys go way after her. Good. That's what I want. Okay. Wilbur. Uh, let us... Let us just put you in cover here. Adira, I will put you in cover up here. Abelard, please get in there and just tank. Argenta, you will also get in there and kind of tank. Pascal, I'll put you here so you can deal some damage around there and be around everyone to buff them. Let's start the battle. Didn't expect to start battle 40 minutes into this fucking thing, but here we are. Okay, let's set some bullshit here. Frontline. Definitely want to put that there. Nothing I can't do. For sure. 
I'll let them come to me if that's the case. Uh, backline. This gives covers efficiency and dodge chance. I think I will... Mm. These guys are all going to be dead, hopefully. So I think I will put it... Uh, I can't overlap them. Can I? Absolutely no. not. Uh, well, if that's the case, then I'm going to put it over here and I'm going to try to move someone oh, over here easy. for this cover. That'd be good. And then the rear, over penetration and critical hit chance, uh, definitely putting it right Suits there. Suits my purposes. Okay, now that that's set up, what was this one? Stronghold Stratagem? Uh, chooses one of the combat tactics areas for one round allies, gain 7% armor, cannot be over penetrated, gain immunity to prone effect, and gain 2 deflection. I think that's pretty good. Uh, hold on for one round. Okay, yeah, so I can do this over and over again, actually. So if I go here... Okay, I think that buffed this area. I'm not too sure. Oh, yes, it did. They got the... They got the buff. Very good. Okay, so they're hella buffed. Holy shit, this class is amazing. I love it. Uh, let's go... I didn't put that in pistol on which I probably should have, but I honestly don't see myself using it now that I've got this fucking sniper. Unless the sniper, uh, it takes four fucking AP to reload, so that sucks. Uh, let's just straight up give Already this to done. her right off the bat. And then, yeah, just Isn't fucking this a job for the face, the get fucked. Might. Fuck you. That's exactly what I wanted. Just that whole whole place just instantly gone. Uh, you have 17. I don't think I want to put this on yet. I will hold. Uh, if that's the case, I will shoot this man. Hopefully, uh, I don't kill him. Oh, well. Not a problem for me. I still hit him pretty good. And then I will put that on Abelard. Oh, too easy. Because that buffs him, right? Uh, whenever I use an effect on him. An ability. Anytime the service attacks, targets dealt damage last turn. Okay. That doesn't really apply because I'm in the back. But oh well. Uh, let's see here. Argenta, you beautiful bitch. Can I get right here? And blast these dudes. That will kill them. So I'm not too worried about it. I don't want to boost myself there. I could do it and then run a gun and then do it again. As the Emperor somewhere else. Commands, I act. Get fucked. Holy shit. Get wrecked. Can I revel in slaughter already? I'll do it. I'll do it. Now, is that a buff? How long does that last? Uh, melee removes winded effects, blah, 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 blah. This ability comes available after kills. I think it's just permanent, dude. I think it's just like a permanent buff. Interesting. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. <laughs> sneeze uh it's crazy that i just got that with one shot can i seems i can still move quite a bit even though i shot was that just because of the revel and slaughter no it doesn't it doesn't give me any movement points i wonder why i can move after i shoot once that's probably something in the skill tree that i picked up that i just don't fucking remember picking up um, these guys are going to flank us. I think Adira can handle them. They're pretty low health. And then Pascal and Wilbur can clean up anyone that comes around their corner. Uh, so I think I will. Abelard can take that guy. I think I will move up here. And then run and gun. The enemies of the Emperor will be undone. And then that should... Oh, I have a 
Oh, wait, I can do it. There we go. And get some damage in there. Oh, or just prayer. fucking just straight kill him. Lamau. Epic. I can gain momentum there, but I don't really need to. Uh, hot on the trail. And hunt down the prey. Do I want to give those to anyone? This guy's pretty fucking hefty. I think I will put those on him. This guy is not very good, not very good, not very good, not very good. Uh, yeah, I think I will mark him as prey. Just for the weak. And then I will do hot on the trail. Faith without deeds is worthless. Okay. Adira, can you? No. You like these two and potentially kill them. Let's try that. What an unfortunate turn of fate. Oh, and it hit him too. Fuck. Oh, that was so beautiful. Um. I can't really do anything else. Not too worried about it. Yeah, I think that's good. I can't do any more attacks. And Avalar should be able to keep these two here. Maybe. I don't even see him on the fucking turn. Anyway. Should I just give... No oh, she's do. too far. Okay, I'm gonna just give this to Avalard. Make sure he doesn't get hit. And I think that's fine. Here we go. Oh, I didn't even see that guy back there. Hey, dodge. Some bitch. Hey, can you get to me? Out of my way. Did that just fucking happen? Are you actually retarded? It's fine with me. 96! Fuck, I should have put all that debuffs on this guy. Twice dead Lanny? <laughs> About to be thrice dead Lanny. Uh, who am I fucking playing as here? Pascal. I guess I should buff everyone, maybe? I don't really think it's gonna really apply, you know, but never can be too careful. Let's just take a shot at someone. I think this guy. That works. And then... I don't think he can actually move all the way to us. I think that's fine. So I think I'm gonna end my turn there. Let's get to it. I forgot the guards were on my ta on my side. Hey, Let's and he goes straight quick. for the buff area. Ah! Harry, you wish, and you're fucking dead now. You're so fucking dead now. Should I move before him? Just to get a better angle on things. I think I will go here and then attack a him from that side. Approach. Just fucking squished. And then can I reach him from the? Oh my god, I can. My duty. Bam. Yeah, fucking shit on, dude. What does this do? Follow my lead. Uh, Vanguard's allies gain damage and armor penetration. As long as they're around him. I might as well. That's fine. It will be done. Argento will get that buff. And then Victory I'll do this. Imminent. And then Argento will get some movement. And I think she'll take cover here. I think that's good. She can take cover there. Kind of opens her up here, but I'm more worried about this guy and his shotgun. The cover is almost done. All right, well, that's good. Oh, Cassia gets another turn before this guy goes, so fuck Me. him. It fucking wrecked. And then, should I give... I 
I can give voice a command to Argenta. I am a navigator, not a servitor. And then I can do this to Argenta because now that stacks. So now I can do this. She gets two. Following. Character can move to any cell adjacent to the Vanguard without provoking opportunity attacks. That's pretty good. Ah, that's really good, actually. To get the fuck out of dodge. Uh, let's do... Ah, oh, shit. I can't. I was gonna buff this attack, but... I don't think I can. What about this? How much does this do? Not a lot. I think I'd rather do the shotgun. Even though it's 20%. As the Emperor commands, I act. You hey. my Emperor. And it's a crit, baby. Okay. I think that's it for that. I guess I can put this on... Does this go away if I put it on someone else? It has three charges at the start of combat. So if I do that... You're still marked as prey, and now you are too. Okay, that's very good. And I have another charge that I can use for free. Okay, so I just get three of them. That's interesting. Should I just fucking heroic this? I wonder. I wonder. I don't think I will. Cassia! Your turn is done. We're still stacking those fucking things. Ooh! I was about to say, I thought he was immune to prone, but yeah. Oh, and now she's stunned. Fucking sick. Round two. More guards coming in. That's fine. We actually don't need your help. I'll be real with you. I'll be so real with you. Can I see anyone from here? Lenny? Can I hit you? I think I can. Let's see how they respond to this. Get fucked. Idiot. Um Let's give that to Abelard. I don't have time for this. Target can act act. Shit, is that what stun is? Fuck. She's stunned too, right? Perplexed. I guess she's not stunned. Okay, that just makes her shit. At Nothing least I can do I something with her, do. I guess. Um, can I hit you from here? Technically can. I'll try I'll it. it. None can escape hey the Emperor's judgment. Get shit on. And then I will move... Right there. Cool. Wilbur, I think you're gonna move up somebody. I'm thinking Pascal, honestly. Adira could also be good. Adira does crazy damage, single target. So does Cassia. I think she's the furthest back, too, so I think I will. Pass. No line of sight! Ah! I can't do it on Pascal either, Absolutely huh? Absolutely not. Okay, Adira. You're up. Get over here. There is movement in the Empyrean. Cool. We're good. And then... I could redo these, but I don't feel like doing it right now. <laughs> I feel like we can take on these two guys with no problem. Uh I think I will do As this. the Emperor commands, no. I act. Holy shit, that damn near kills him. I'll do it. And it does, baby. Get fucked, homie. And then I'll move up here so I can get a better shot on your ass. You're not gonna like that. Um, you know what? Fuck it. I'll I use it now. His will made manifest. What's up, bitch? 
Doubt is for the weak. Damn it. Can I just not hit her? I'll do it. It is 14%. I'm kind of wasting this and I'm regretting my decisions in life. As so let's the do this. Commands, I act. That'll almost get us back up there anyway. So. Oh well, that was a waste. <laughs> Sucks to suck. Sucks to cuck. Uh, let's go... Psychic Shriek? Is that my only attack move here? Yeah. Call on me. Yeah, this sniper is gonna get Just fucking wrecked, bro. Let's get to it. Ow. Didn't get through my temporary wounds. Lamau. Get fucking shit on. Do I have a shot on you? 9%. Uh, I'd rather just do this thing and get some exploits on his ass. Running by Eric override. And then I might as well do this too. Request denied. Target is too far. Okay, so that has a range. Uh, for the next attack against this target affected affected by exploit. My vow is do I use served. that? Okay, that was just for me. Okay, well, maybe now it's a better hit chance. No, it's still nine, but I'll try it. I'm out. Oh, well. Here we go. Get in there, guard. You got this. Oh, you motherfucker. My tank can't move, dude. Can I hit this from here? Oh, just barely not. Can I give this to Wilbur? Emperor, give me strength. Oh, damn it. I thought for sure I could I could give that to Wilbur and he could make her move more. And then damn. Damn, damn, damn. Oh well. Let's just take a shot then. Not my specialty. Oh, no line of sight. Oh, that's right, he was up here when I shot him. Okay, so this sucks. I guess I'll put voice command on Abelard. Since my purposes. Take aim. Oh, I she's just outside range. Sad face. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. Hold on. More guards coming in. Yeah, we're kind of just chasing down one dude at this point, so not really a big deal. Guys, you don't have to come rushing out. I think we got this. Uh, let's... Can Abelard still not act? What is he debuffed by? This character cannot be targeted by voice command ability. Overexerted. Okay. But he can... Move. So if I Nothing give that I to him, to. and then you move, oh, he moved up, so maybe I can, well, maybe I don't want to move that far. I think that's good. I think that was in range. And then, yes, perfect. <laughs> oh, All yeah. Too easy. All too easy. And then we run in and Indeed. fucking thwack him. <laughs> Excellent. Fuck no it. No matter the cost. Should we reckless attack this? Absolutely. I will do my duty. Get him. It will be done. Oh, he's dead. Oh, 61 fucking damage. Oh, holy shit. That was nuts. That was nutty. All right, everybody. Go back to doing what you're doing. Uh, let's search him first. He just had a regular sniper rifle. Nothing new there. Uh, he had sing skin. Cool. And an Ospreys. In plus 10 bonus to awareness. Very cool. I don't know if... Who is my awareness person? Awareness 85? That's pretty good. Argenta had okay awareness. Adira has okay awareness. 
She has more, and I don't think she has a single trinket on her. So let's boost that. That works. That's good. Um. Should I put that helmet on it? And it's 5% armor? Whereas this all taunting scream suffer. Does he have taunting scream? I don't even know. Let me check that out. Look no further. He does not. That's right. I didn't take it. I took it on Heinrichs. Oh well. A new challenge for me. All right. We've got a ton of looting to do. It looks like it did it all for us. Epic. A stun grenade. Another stun grenade. Sector 2, watch your back. Make sure you're not being followed. Cool. Chain axe. Ooh. That's pretty cool. Okay. So there's that. We have more over here. Uh, sword. Okay. Visit the base. Oh, and this poor dude. This poor guy. He just had a little las pistol on him. And a gas cloud grenade. That is so unfortunate. That is unfortunate. Oh, I forgot about these guys over here. Cool. Victory awaits. Oh, what is this? Casing chest plate. Heavy armor. Hmm. Can Abelard even wear heavy armor? I don't think he can. I don't know if he can. Oh, no, he can. Just gives him a dodge penalty of 0.5. Oh, well, this is actually better. Grants the wear two deflection and 20 fists in armor against fire damage as well as immuning to burning. No, that's better. I'll take the five. I'll take the... 0.25 dodge penalty for fire immunity. That's pretty good. Uh, that seems to have been it for there. I won't tolerate weakness. We still have quite a bit of stuff to do here. Uh, so we need to go back to. Well, first we need to end the episode for sure. <laughs> but uh. We need to go back over here, and we're going to go back to the Shadow Quarters. We're going to be looking at a ton of shit. I think this is the way out. Yes. So let's see where we can go here. So we can go to the Shadow Quarters, where we have three quests available. We can go to the docks, or we can go to the Liege's residence. We're already in Atrium. So the Shadow Quarters is next on our list of things it's to do. Time. But for now, I'm going to end it there because this hour's this <laughs> episode's over an hour long already. Uh, yeah, super cool guy, that Liege. Uh, <laughs> we helped him out. Accidentally got another uh, rogue trader uh, heir killed. Epic. Awesome. Uh, then we had combat. That combat was nice and fun. Not really uh, too challenging on our part but I enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.